Hey guys, Ken Ross here. I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And today I got a doozy for you. Today I've been doing some research on the Pomodoro technique. What is the Pomodoro technique? Well, it was developed in the 1980s and it's a technique that can help you stay focused on completing larger tasks. If you have a very large, so let's say you have a lot of big projects and you have to really focus on getting some of the details right or making sure you can get certain aspects of this done correctly, you need time to focus, right? And you need to be able to um, put together something that is refined or that is put together well. So how do you, how do you do that? How do you make it so that you don't just sit around and you think, oh, I'm just, I don't know what to do here. There are ways to to break tasks down right into smaller pieces and then apply this very simple technique I'm going to teach you here. There's really only five steps to it. And if you think about it, it's really just the same four steps a few times. And then when you get to the fifth step, the fifth step requires a small change. But let me, let me get into that for a second. Who are people that could use this method? Now, I really think people that are very distracted, during the workday. Let's say you have a lot of things going on, a lot of different things that can get in your way. Applying this technique will help you stay focused on the things that are more important. And, and I know I've talked about in other videos, prioritizing tasks, making sure that you know what you want to tackle in a day and taking breaks, having some type of structure would be great. And I think this technique is a structure you can imply to do the best that you can with the time that you have. More specifically, it should be used for people who really have a hard time staying focused, right? Who can get easily distracted by other things that interrupt your day. Or people who may even be, be suffering from hurry sickness. Now, I talked about hurry sickness in one of my previous videos, and I'll put it up on the screen on, on this side here for you to check out because I really do feel like there are techniques in the Pomodoro, there are things in this technique that you can use to help you if you have hurry sickness too. I think it's a really good uh, aside to both of the things that I'm saying. And ultimately, feeling rushed or feeling overwhelmed by the task that you have, this technique will help you really understand it better. So let's, let's kind of break that down. Okay, step one, pretty easy step. Pick a task, right? You, could, you can have many tasks in a day it could be checking emails, it could be uh, following up with your cl clients, it could be a lot of things, but you have to pick a singular task. You should pick something that within the time parameters, which I'm gonna give you here, right, is part of the second step, is something that you can accomplish and stay focused on for that period of time. The next thing you wanna do, that's step two, is find a timer, get a timer out and set yourself a timer for that task. Preferably the task should be 25 minutes in length. So set a 25 minute timer, just set it on your phone or set it on your computer or whatever. Set an alarm if you have one next to your uh, computer or next to whatever it is that you're trying to work on and start the timer. Step three is work on the task until the time is done. Be relentless. Don't allow other distractions in the day to get in the way. If you get emails or you're getting other people to try to interrupt you in some fashion. Nope, you have this 25 minute task that you're, you're working on and that's what you're gonna do for the next 25 minutes is, hey, I'm just, I'm really focused on follow up to my clients, I gotta get this done. And in 25 minutes or in 10 minutes or in five minutes, however much time is left, I can get to those other tasks or I can get to what it is I need to get to next. Step four, pretty easy, it's take a break, right? I talk about making sure you give your brain a break. In this particular technique, you wanna take a five minute break and set another timer for five minutes and say, hey look, I'm on my five minute break. I just completed this great, this task. I got a lot of work done in that 25 minutes. I deserve a break, I'm gonna take it. And then you're gonna repeat this process four times. Finding a task, 25 minutes of focusing on that task. Don't allow anyone to distract you. Take your five minute break. After four of these repetitions, after doing this four times, you wanna imply the fifth step, which is take a longer structured break, anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. 
this will help your mind to really just kind of relax and, and be able to actually reflect on the accomplishments you've made. Because in the last, you know, two hours, you've been able to complete four tasks or focus on those four tasks exclusively and not allow anything else to kind of infect those those tasks. And if you're really diligent about doing this in a structured way and in, in such in, in a very committed way, you'll see that you're able to accomplish more during the day and that you're able to allow the, the distractions of other people and other things to kind of almost melt away in some sense. And you realize how unimportant some of those things are or how if they are important, how they don't have to infect other important things. I really think this is something that for myself, as I've started to kind of implement some of these, I, I, I do a couple of uh, p uh, Pomodoro technique, you know, times here where I'm setting a timer and I'm actually going to focus on a task. And I see myself really coming away thinking this is this is a lot better to focus on. It, you know, um, there's a, there's much to be said about the stru structured corporate world when you have a meeting and you meet with other people to discuss a topic. But those are usually hour long topics and they, they kind of go in, in a lot of different directions. If you have tasks or you set an agenda in a meeting and you actually stick to that agenda, you get a lot more done because, hey, you know what is on the agenda? You, you've, you've discussed it and you kind of go through all of it. And then in that meeting, you can say, hey, look, we've touched on everything. We've got our to do's. And in a lot of respects, people that that stick to an agenda and actually try to go through the tasks of the agenda. If we get to the end of the meeting and the meeting was supposed to be an hour and it's 40 minutes into the meeting, you can say to yourself, oh, give yourself a 20 minute break. Why do you want to do that? Because you have a sense of accomplishment. You got together, you accomplished something. You deserve the break. You've, that, that's your reward. And this is just like that in the sense that you focus on a task, you get as much of that task or the task itself completely done in that 25 minutes and then you get to sit back and reflect on that accomplishment before you go to the next thing. So I really love it. I think it's a great idea. I think it's something that a lot of people can spend some time really thinking about. Hey, can I implement this into my day? Can I, I mean, you don't have to do this all day. You could, you could spend two hours doing it, take your 30 minute break and go back to doing uh, tasks or other things that are, are less structured. A different way. That's what I have for you today. Um, would love to hear your comments on this. Would love to know if you actually tried this technique and see if this is something that is of some benefit to you. What really would help in, in a lot of in a lot of ways to your day if this fits into what it is you're doing. Would love to hear that. Would also love to hear if there are other topics that you'd like me to cover. I know I come up with a lot of different things and they all seem kind of related in some ways because I'm actually doing research for myself. I'm thinking about ways to to improve my business, to improve kind of how I go about doing things in my day. And this this technique came up and I said, hey, I'm, I'm going to do some more research. I'm going to try this out and see what it see what it does for me. Um, so that's why I bring it to you. But you have every right to ask me to research some other topic. And I would love to do that. I, I, I spend a lot of time looking at different things and, and trying to apply them to businesses and see how well that fits uh, with what my business is, but also what it would do for other businesses. So something I want to do, I uh, would love to do that for you if you have um, a thought. Also, tell your friends about this channel. Would love to hit a thousand subscribers. I'm, I know I'm nowhere close to that yet, but I, I do have a goal to try to hit at least 500 subscribers by the end of the year. If not, get to the full thousand. That would be great. Um, please like and share this video. This would be great for people to 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 even check out if, if you're not even in business. I think this technique applies to a lot of people even out of outside of business. How do you get schoolwork done, for example? I'm gonna use this with my kids. I know my kids could probably leverage these uh, abilities or this technique as well. So. Please tell others about this channel. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like this video, like I said, share it with your friends. And visit my website, I'mKenRoss.com. And until I see you next time, I'll see you around.